Alrighty then, I'm going to make a simple Salisbury steak that freezes very well that I then freeze into packages of two since two adults live here. Got a very good sale on fresh ground beef. I have plenty uh, canned uh, for things like tacos. So I want to have some Salisbury steak patties put away in my freezer. And I'm going to use dehydrated mushrooms, of course the ground beef, about two eleven a pound, I think, which is a very good sale price for us. Some onion and cream of mushroom soup. It ain't hard, it's just Salisbury steak. And it is 68 degrees here today, tomorrow will be 86. But for us, this is like a cold snap after being 94, 96, really hot and sunny. And we've had two days of solid rain, so I'm starting to think about fall, stick to your ribs, uh, heavier food. So that's why I'm going to store up some Salisbury steak. Ain't hard, it's just cooking. To start with, I've put some of my dehydrated mushrooms. I am not rehydrating them. And one of my onions, they're about this size, not very large. I may need more, and of course I need breadcrumbs but I've got my own home dehydrated breadcrumbs. No flour worms put into those, no seasoning. So now I'm going to add my meat and see what it looks like. Just like with meatloaf, you don't want to overwork this. So my intention is to kind of fold in those mushrooms and onions. And I would probably need more onion, but that's very really easy to chop. I did add the other onion, so everything's pretty even through there. I quit throwing meat around. So I'm going to put in some of my cream of mushroom soup. And this is just one of those things you kind of feel. I'm not squishing my meat all up with my hands. I'm just kind of folding from the bottom over the top. Because you can make a very horrible meatloaf smushing yourself all in there. In this case, because I have almost five pounds, I'll use this whole thing of cream of mushroom. And for those who don't like to make a gravy, you can certainly just put some of this in your skillet. Most people always have one of those in their pantry, so when you would take out the ones for dinner. You could just open a little can of cream mushroom soup. I'm going to be putting two eggs in here. I may need another one, but I did mix them. And again, I'm going to fold this over and over. Try not to overwork my meat mixture. So let's get some breadcrumbs. Because I'm going to freeze this, I don't do uh, bread soaked in milk like I do with a meatloaf. If I were not going to freeze that, that's what I would do if I want to make this and then cook it for a meal. These patties will not fall apart either.
So I was able to make 15 patties. They're very healthy sized, <laughs> for lack of a better word, or hefty. Um, so now I will wrap them by twos in wax paper. Then I'll place those into a food saver bag. And then I'll file them in the bottom of my uh, refrigerator into the freezer part, which is a drawer freezer. And it lets me stack them just like you're putting something in a file cabinet. So ground beef on sale and several meals of Salisbury steak through the winter. Can't go wrong with a sale and can't go wrong with coming home tired or from whatever and being able to pull out to and have a really good meal. Mushrooms, onion, eggs, breadcrumbs. Pretty good. I like it. When I do go to form these into patties with my food safe gloves, I put some olive oil on my hands so that the beef does not stick to them like it does when you're mixing them up, but I didn't want oil inside of there. So anyway, find you a sale and turn those in some into some easy to make meals. Have a great one.